Welcome back to Sea Stories with Mr. Do Right. I am your host, Mr. Do Right, and today's show: five ways on how to piss off a sub sailor on the boat. I know you want to know. I know you anxious to know because you ready to piss somebody off, and I'm gonna tell you the secrets on how to do it. So y'all ready for this? Dum 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 dum. Oh, sorry. Check this out. Attention, bubbleheads, sailors, and all military personnel. Enjoy truish, lighthearted, and funny adventures from life at sea, told by Mr. Do Right himself. So pack your sea bags and rig a ship or dive. It's time for another sea story with Mr. Do Right. I think they're ready for it. Take it away, Mr. Do Right. Visit DoRightProduction.com, follow the Facebook page, and subscribe to our channel, shipmates. So, you want to know how to piss off a sub sailor on the boat. What kind of person are you? What's wrong with you? You need to leave them dudes alone. But if you just really got to piss somebody off, first thing you can do, have that sucker hot rack with somebody that doesn't stand watch. Watch his face just light up with glee. Wow! I get the hot rack with somebody that's breathing up all the air, drinking up all the water, eating up all the food, showering with all the water. This son of a gun is living the life while I'm standing watch. You know one of the worst things you can do? Well, scratch that. You know one of the worst things you can see is somebody playing a game and you going to the rack. You wake up, that fool is in the same spot playing the same game that he was playing before you went to sleep. Then you go on watch. You get off watch and you come back and that fool is in the same spot playing the same game. Boy, you talk about flames coming off of somebody's head. Yeah, that'll piss him off. I guarantee. I guarantee. Second way, you could piss somebody off on the boot. And I, I you know what? I got to stop saying guy. He got women on the boat, too, so I'm just going to say sailor. I'm going to say sailor. Y'all got to accept these women. I'm getting tired of this. These women can be on board. You want somebody to stand and watch? You always mad shit? Hell, I should have added that to the list. Anyway, moving on. Next way you can <laughs> next way you can piss off a sailor on the boat is wake him up when he ain't supposed to be waking. So the messenger come, they go wake up, hey, first wake up, and they wake you up like, fool, this ain't even my watch, what you come waking me up for? That will ruin your whole oncoming time. Pretty much like this. Petty also do right. Hey, Petty also do right. First wake up, what are you waking me up for? Well, I got you on my list, sir. Who you calling, sir? Oh, I didn't mean to call you sir, Petty Officer. I just went to the rack. What? You better get away from my rack up. with that bull. I'll be back. You better not come back. Petty Officer, do right. Second wake up. It's time to get up. I don't care if it's the second, third, or fifth wake up. You ain't supposed to be waking me up right you now. I just went to the rack. I'll be back. You couldn't wake me up again and watch what happened. You just watch. Hey, how's it do right? Third and final wake up. I find your lack of faith disturbing. What are you? What, what, oh. Did you like that? I like that. I enjoyed that a whole lot. Another way you could piss a sailor off on the boat is put him with the wrong Liberty buddy. Now you might be saying, "What in the hell do you mean?" The wrong liberty, buddy. Well, I'm glad you asked and stop talking to yourself. Man, we had this conversation way earlier this year about you sitting up here talking to yourself when you're supposed to be sitting here listening to me. What's the problem? What's the problem? What seems to be the problem? Talk to me. Talk to me. I'll listen. Well, that was interesting. You know, there's a couple of reasons why that's happening. But right now, I'm trying to tell a damn story, so sit your ass down and listen. So, the reason why you don't want to get stuck with the wrong liberty, buddy, let's just take this scenario. 
So you get you get stuck with Joe Schmo or Steven Schmuckatelli. And they drink like fish. Like if you put them in a river of bourbon, they will swim upstream and spawn and have chilling and be chilling in all that bourbon. No problems. But you take as soon as you take them out that, that river of bourbon, them uh, they just, just blah and they wanna fight everybody and ah, you, oh, I love you man and all that other bullshit. You know what I'm talking about. Well, you never want to get stuck with them fools because that whole time you babysitting their ass, you got to drag them back to the boat and all this other stuff. And they all, you know, how they walk on top of their feet while you trying to drag, you drag them. Come on, dude. And they be like, oh, oh, man. Y'all, I'm so glad I know you because, man, anybody else would have left me in the gutter. He's like, fool, you better shut up because I'm thinking about it right now. You, you, you messing up at a high rate of speed, turbo. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Think back. Think back. Because I guarantee it happened to you. You were stuck with the wrong Liberty Buddy. And if you say to yourself, I ain't never got stuck with the wrong Liberty Buddy, then you, my friend, was the wrong Liberty Buddy. Just think about it. Moving on. <laughs> the fourth, and I put a five fingers. You see that? I, that that go go juice is getting to me. The, f <laughs> the fourth way you can piss off a sailor on the boat is relieve him for field day. You like that dramatic pause? Yeah. Relieve him for field day. And I guarantee you he's going to be pissed. Because let me tell you something. One of the best things about stand and watch is stand and watch during field day. Because stand and watch during field day means you ain't got to sit up there and clean. So... When somebody come along and usually, you know, it's a first class or somebody or a chief, you know, it's funny when chief want to, you know what, I got to stand the proficiency. So let me go ahead and relieve you so I can get my proficiency. And you like, chief, do you even know how to plot anymore? You ain't been to the plot since, oh, I don't know, since you was a second class like me. <laughs> We been a ran into a sea mount or something. No, I I hope it ain't too soon. I ain't trying to say nothing, but I'm just saying, you know, chief want to come up in there and want to relieve you during the field day. You know, I'm like, wait a minute, chief, hold on, hold on. You know, I got this. No, 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 no. I, I'm I'm gonna relieve you so I can get my name in the book. Go ahead and go do what you want to do. Right, like you can go do whatever you want to go do during the field day. Whatever you want to do better consist of cleaning. So yeah, you would definitely piss somebody off relieving them for field day. And the fifth and final way you can piss off a sailor on the boat. Hell, forget that. You want to piss off the whole boat? You do this and you'll piss everybody and their mama on the boat. Even the cat to be sitting up there like, man, this is bull. This is some bullshit. Man, I can't believe they did this stuff to us. You're like, yeah, cat, I don't care. How, how did they do this to us? And the cat be like, I don't know, but this is some bullshit. Pull in halfway to port for a BSP after six month deployment. You want me to explain that? Okay, I'll explain that. So you've been out to sea for six months. You know, six months is half a year, right? Six months you've been out to sea. You've been missing mama. You've been missing the kids. You've been missing your car. You've been missing football. You've been missing all the movies. You've been missing your video games. You've been missing everything. You out to sea and the, and the aliens didn't attack. You don't even know it. Then you're getting ready to pull in. Everybody happy. Everybody's excited. Yep, this is it. The end of the plumber. We're pulling in. And then the captain comes on the 1MC. All right, guys, man, you know this is a great deployment. Y'all guys been kicking ass and taking names, and I'm so proud of y'all. And you like, uh-oh, there's that pause. But we're going to have to go do a BSP and go pick up these guys, and we got to take them back out for a week. So I know y'all was all ready to pull in, but tough luck, my <laughs> And I'm sorry about that motherfucker. I need to say motherfucker. I'm trying to cut back on saying motherfucker. But I had to say motherfucker because motherfucker is the best motherfucking thing to say at that motherfucking time. 
so. And that's how I feel about that. Because you know what? That happened to us. And that shit sucked. It sucked. It sucked. So, you want to piss off the whole boat? There you go. Now, if you're using in my tips, please do not associate that with me. Don't tell nobody you got it from me. Because if you do, I'm going to deny everything. I don't, know, I don't know what you're talking about. And if you try to find this video, it may be gone. It won't be gone. It'll be still there. I ain't finna take down that video. Shoot. I ain't finna take it down. But I'll find out who you are. And if I find out who you are, I can guarantee you I'm going to make every video about you, every last one, and every sailor in America, Canada, and, and, and Brazil, I don't know why I said Brazil, will know who you are and know what kind of shipmate you are. You see that bead of sweat coming down my face? That means I'm telling you the truth. This is real. This is real stuff. This is real. This is streets. You just don't understand. So anyway, thank you for coming back to Sea Stories with Mr. Do-Right. I am your host, Mr. Do-Right. And is there anything I want to say, anything I want to put out there, you know? So check this picture out right here. This is a picture from David Wright. And I tell you what, this is pretty cool stuff. And I wish I had mine because I'd be smoking up some meat right now on the boat. So, if you know David Wright, tell him I gave him a shout out. I'll holler at him and tell him I gave him a shout out. Check out his picture. Give him a like on his picture. Cool dude. I like him. He watched my show and I'm happy to have him to watch. And thank you, shipmate. And thank all my shipmates out there, past, present, and future, that's watching the show. And with that, I'm out of here. Peace. Chief is so far up Lieutenant Skipjack's ass, he'll be taking pictures of Pluto here in a second. He'll be able to use it as a bomb shelter here in a minute. He'll be writing rhymes for outcasts. He'll be making a movie called Fifty Shades of Brown. They're going to start calling him Minor 49er. You get it? His new neighbor is going to be called Jerry the Gerbil. And we are getting ready to do this. Let me get my last wig. My go-go juice. Y'all ready? If y'all ever wonder how I can get in front of this camera, the only reason I can get in front of this camera is because I'm drunk.